In this video, we're going to continue on our proof that the normal prior is actually conjugate to a normal likelihood in the circumstance where we know the variance. And at the end of the last video, we had this expression for the posterior. So we had that the probability of theta given x was proportional to the exponent of this term, which you see here. So what I'm going to do with this term is I'm actually just going to collect the sort of powers of theta and theta squared, respectively. So if we do that, we then can rewrite this as being equal to the exponent of minus theta squared over 2. So if I collect up the powers of theta squared, well, you can see that there's one here and there's also one here. So I can write this first of all as 1 over sigma theta squared. Then for the next bit, we've just got to have a plus n over sigma x squared. So those are the powers of theta squared. If we now do the same for powers of just theta, we get plus theta. Well, this sort of last term here is going to contribute a theta 0 divided through by sigma theta squared because the twos will cancel with one another. Then we are going to get on the right hand side a plus n x bar over sigma x squared coming from the first term. And I know I've sort of reordered the ordering of these two particular terms, but it's just so that in both cases we have the sum term which is due to the prior first, and then we have sum term which is due to the likelihood. Now what we're going to do is a bit of a trick. We're going to introduce a new parameter which I'm going to call here sigma primed theta squared, which is equal to 1 over sigma theta squared plus n over sigma x squared, and it's this whole term to the power minus 1. We're also going to introduce a new parameter, which I'm going to call now theta primed, which is defined as being equal to sigma theta prime squared, this sort of parameter we've introduced before, times now sort of theta zero divided through by sigma theta squared plus n x bar over sigma x squared. Now what we do is we notice that this sort of parameter introduction wasn't arbitrary, the sigma theta prime squared corresponds to this term here, or technically this term to the power minus 1, and theta primed exactly corresponds to this term if we were to take the sigma primed theta squared underneath the theta prime. Now, if we collect up those terms, we're going to find here that the posterior density, the probability of theta given our data x, is actually proportional to the exponent of, in this case, minus theta squared over now we're going to have 2 sigma prime theta all squared. Then for the next term, we're going to have plus theta times theta primed all divided through by sigma prime theta squared. Now what we're going to do is a bit of a trick. We're going to introduce a term now which doesn't depend on theta. And we can do that because we've got this sort of proportional sign here because all we really care about is powers of theta. And I'm going to introduce a last term which is just minus theta prime squared divided through by 2 sigma theta primed all squared. And the reason that I've done that is because now we can rewrite this exponent as a sort of quadratic. So then we have the exponent of, in this case, minus theta minus theta primed all squared divided through by 2 sigma theta primed squared. Then what we notice is that this has exactly the same theta dependence as a normal distribution with a parameter or a mean theta primed and with a variance which is given by sigma theta prime squared. And because we have all of the theta dependence, we know that because this density has to integrate to 1, then we're going to have out the front of this 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma primed theta all squared. So this thing exactly is going to be a normal density. In other words, we proved that the normal prior is conjugate to a normal likelihood, and we found the sort of new mean of this sort of distribution of theta, which we're calling here theta prime, and the sort of new updated variance, which we're going to call here sigma prime theta squared. 